happy election day to everybody celebrating out there. Of course, Americans making their big decision today. Will they or won't they elect Donald Trump, I think, is the real question, of course, is on everybody's mind. The election results will be out in the next 12 to 24 hours, something like that. It's going to be a crazy, volatile day, potentially. We've got the latest on the charts, the latest on the economic data. we got some meme coin updates, some massive Bitcoin news beyond all the election shenanigans. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. we got lots to cover. So first and foremost, it's election day. Current forecast, this is according to Poly Market and the whales that are betting over there, so take it all with a grain of salt. Currently, Trump is ahead in the majority of the swing states. We'll see, of course, how things play out. Pennsylvania probably going to be the absolutely critical deciding factor in the election. Not to go too deep into electoral politics and all that kind of stuff, but essentially, Trump has presented himself as the more crypto-friendly candidate in a variety of ways, which we've talked about here on the channel. But at the end of the day, I'm not an American voter. Americans are going to decide who they want to be their next president. I think the market will react more favorably to a Trump presidency versus a uh, Harris presidency, but in the end, none of it's probably really going to matter. Bitcoin's not going to be stopped depending on who's sitting in the White House or not, but certainly one candidate over the other could have more favorable policies. But on current election forecasts, on current predictions across the majority of election predictors, it's looking like a Trump victory is potentially coming. But There's always that possibility for election day surprises. So let's, of course, revisit tomorrow and see who the next president of America is going to be. Big day, though, and there's been a lot of volatility in the run up to that. We'll cover that more in the charts here in just a minute. Bernstein, Alliance Bernstein, big, big um, asset manager coming out and saying they are raising their Bitcoin price estimate for Harris win. So if Harris wins, Bitcoin probably going to drop down to 50K, according to Bernstein. These guys are quite bullish on a potential Harris presidency. If Trump gets in, they're saying we're going to 80 to 90K. Fantastic. They also issued a, another report, uh, I think which was yesterday, saying that this is their short term, basically that long term, none of it really matters. Bitcoin probably still going to 200K in 2025. Look, They're just one asset manager with an opinion. Okay, take it with a grain of salt. We'll see how, of course, things actually play out when we get the real results in. We did have a bit of market jitters this week due to, well, basically increasingly bad U.S. job data. So U.S. non-farm payrolls came in at $12,000, 12,000, 12,000 people getting jobs was forecast to be 100,000 people, and previously it was a quarter million. This is crushing macro news for the U.S. economy, U.S. economy grinding to a halt in many areas. Uh, Manufacturing has been having issues. Uh, Employment, obviously, a very, very big concern for people, and it's been struggling bad. So That's not good. The market did not like that. We saw an immediate correction in the market when that happened, although those stock markets quickly rebounded and, you know, as they do. But this is the kind of stuff you see in the run up to an election. Okay, a lot of stuff going on this week. This is funny. I thought I'd share this with you. So Wall Street is rapidly cutting their earning estimates. Analyst expectations for the Magnificent Seven. Those are NVIDIA and the other top mega tech stocks in 2025 and slash by nearly three percentage point wall street now expects mag seven profits to grow at 16.9 percent as some of the tech giants have failed to provide upbeat outlook oh no oh no the tech giants are only gonna grow their profits by 16.9 percent oh terrible of terribleness do they even hear themselves it's crazy anyway <laughs> analysts i tell you big week though beyond of course the election We have the ISM services PMI, so the U.S., of course, being a very service-based economy. This is potentially even more important metric these days than the industrial output, although, you know, if there's a reinvigoration of U.S. industry uh, in whoever gets into the White House next time, that could make that much more relevant indicator. Of course, relevant enough still, but services potentially even more relevant. Jobless claims coming in on Thursday, also very important. Fed policy decision also on Thursday, so this is going to be the big one. We're getting the election. That's going to be a big, like, holy crap, going to decide a lot of the future of sort of the tone of the markets going into the end of the year. 
Fed policy decision, will they cut 25 or 50 basis points? The way the jobs markets are looking, they're probably going to want to cut 50, but we'll see what old Jerome Powell decides in a few days, okay? Consumer sentiment reports on Friday. So lots of big things coming in this week to keep an eye on on the macro front. Now, before we jump into the charts, real quick shout out to iTrust, who is sponsoring today's video. Guys, if you want a very tax efficient way to be trading your crypto coins. You might want to look into what iTrust is doing. So they allow you to bring over your existing IRA, 401k, retirement plan. They have other things on there too. Here's the deal. You can wrap your trading of crypto through iTrust in your retirement account. This will allow you to make hundreds, even thousands of trades with no taxable events. If you've been trading crypto at all, you know how much this can eat into your long-term profits. Oh, great, I just got a win. You know, nailed that long or whatever, and I got 100%. Great, well, now the government's gonna take half of it in most places, so, or maybe 30% of it. And this allows you to really compound your gains much more over time, okay? And they've got all the top coins, Dogecoin, Dog with Hat, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and on. So if you wanna check out what they're doing, there's a link down below in the description. Get a $100 sign-up bonus. Also, I need to mention, too, they allow to do in-kind withdrawals. You can actually take those coins and put them in your pocket in the future, plus gold and silver. Rather, partnership with Kitco. Low costs, no monthly fee. Biggest IRA provider in the crypto game. Go check it out. Link down below. Thanks, and I trust for sponsoring today's video. So, the price of Bitcoin. Look at this. Look at this. Levels to levels. Beautiful. I know you're looking at that. That's not beautiful, Ark. This is a travesty. We got so close to getting to that new high, half a percentage point away from cracking a new high. Well, we didn't quite get it. We got a rejection before a new high, which is something that very frequently happens when trying to break into price discovery. Now, we mapped out the key levels here. We came down here the other day, and we came right down here yesterday, which was this box that I had mapped out for you guys the other day. So this is a retest of the downtrend line, which you see right here. Very, very critical level. And most importantly, coming back down to retest previous resistance as support, which currently is holding on, obviously. Now we have to see what the election results are going to be, and that's probably going to determine a lot of how the market sentiment and price action moves into the next few days. Okay, so that's what we're watching out for. This has come down to find our level. Let's see if it bounces here and continues higher. Okay. Bitcoin ETFs had a total net outflow of half a billion dollars yesterday, second highest single day net outflow in history. People are de-risking going into the election. A lot of people who are maybe taking profits are just moving back into cash to wait and see what happens. Okay, depending on their political leanings, they'll see one result as positive, the other as negative. So this is not to be unexpected. This is not anything shocking. So that's fine, but just it is happening. There's a lot of de-risking going on. This chart right here from Bitwise is crazy. We're so close to previous high prices. So that's the black line on the chart there. That's the price. Whereas the green line on the chart is basically attention. So this is Google results for Bitcoin. Nobody's looking up Bitcoin these days. Retail, completely not interested. Maybe that goes back to our uh, to only 12,000 jobs created last month. Uh, anyway... Regardless, retail sleeping on crypto right now. Yeah, they're playing around with memes and stuff like that. But generally, when markets get really crazy, you will see Bitcoin getting a lot of attention in Google searches, which is not happening right now, especially a massive divergence considering what the price is doing. This is an institutional fueled run up to this point. But retail will come when we start breaking into new highs. Mag sharing this one. Bitcoin is this time different. So you can see consolidation period, breakout. Consolidation period, which has been basically the entirety of 2024, breakout happening right now. And as long as we don't have a very, very negative volatile reaction from whatever the election results are going to be, we are likely to continue higher. It's probably going to happen regardless of who wins. Just timings may differ depending on one candidate or the other. Again, markets generally looking at a Harris presidency as a less favorable market condition and Trump as a more favorable market condition. Okay. Now let's get into some other news. Um, 21 shares filing for a spot XRP ETF. Basically a lot of these um, filings for XRP ETFs and Litecoin ETF that came in as well. Solana ETFs. So now we have three altcoins with ETF proposals, XRP, Solana, and Litecoin. So this basically completely depends on a Trump presidency. If you want to see altcoin ETFs, 
Trump's got to come in, throw Gary Gensler out of the SEC, because Gary Gensler's SEC is not going to approve this stuff. Or we're going to do everything possible not to approve this stuff or to delay it as long as possible. So that's kind of where we stand. XRP, Salon, and Litecoin ETFs dead on arrival with the current ET, uh, SEC head. Okay? When that person changes, which is probably not going to change under a Democrat White House, then we'll get more action on these or we'll have court cases and it'll take years to get some of this stuff happening. Cartwright, this is a multi-billion dollar UK pension fund, just announced a 3% Bitcoin allocation. That's crazy. As a percentage, this is 30x higher than the Wisconsin pension fund allocation. We're just seeing huge allocations for Bitcoin, right? Look at this. Look at this, a multi-billion dollar UK pension fund, a 3% Bitcoin allocation. Those are huge numbers. Again, we're seeing massive institutional interest right now in Bitcoin. Beautiful stuff. Michigan's pension bought Ethereum ETFs, but they bought more than they did of Bitcoin ETFs, 10 million versus 7 million. But these are small numbers, relatively, right? But still, pension funds are state pension funds are coming in. Florida the other day announced they already hold $800 million worth of crypto investments and they're buying more Bitcoin. Okay? So big things happening right now. $3 trillion under asset management giant UBS launches first money fund on Ethereum. This is absolutely massive. We also got a big announcement today that uh, a bunch of big players are coming together and launching a new stable coin via Paxos. It's called the global US dollar coin. So launching on Ethereum, by the way. So a lot of big things happening. A lot of big banks and institutions and financial asset managers, and everything just continue to be involved in the space. I know people are like super bearish sometimes on the timeline, but guys, look at the big picture. Look at what's happening. Short-term price action is not going to change where this asset class is going. Europe's largest telco, Deutsche and T-Mobile, uh, started mining Bitcoin using surplus real energy. That's insane. Dudes. Dudes, major corporations are now mining Bitcoin. It's insane. We have countries. We have El Salvador. We have Bhutan. We have Russia. We have Oman. We have the UAE. Confirmed. All those confirmed. Others probably doing it without having from Ethiopia also mining Bitcoin. Okay. Lots of countries mining Bitcoin at a state level. State level. Are you hearing what's going on right now? Now we have major corporations like this, major telecom providers of Europe mining Bitcoin as well. Okay. And let's finish up with some meme fun to end off the day, okay? FWOG has become the top meme on Salon in terms of mind share. Goat retracing a bit recently. Mudang the baby hippo. It's getting old and fat. Nobody nobody cares so much about baby hippo anymore because he's going to turn into a big fat, yeah, ugly hippo. Popcat still doing pretty well. A lot of others, of course, still getting a decent amount of attention overall. Definitely a game of a game of hot potato with memes, isn't it? You know, the attention lasts for such a short amount of time sometimes. And to be able to be a meme that cracks a billion plus market cap, keeps it and keeps consistent mind share is very hard in this game. Most memes will not get there. And in case you blinked and missed it, there was a new meta this week, dead squirrels. Okay, so Peanut the Squirrel, it's a crazy story. You know, the state came in and took this guy's squirrel away and killed it, and uh, which is insane, just like, who are these people in government? Anyway, besides the point, uh, this, of course, triggered a massive amount of memes and meme coins, and they reached crazy valuations. And I, I don't think that meta is going to last very long personally, but, uh, you know, that's the crypto game. That's the meme coin game, man. It's just attention, attention, attention. Last week it was, you know, two weeks ago it was baby hippos. Last week it was AI agents. This week it's dead squirrels. Next week, I don't even want to know. <laughs> Guys, if you're not signed to the newsletter yet, get signed up to the newsletter. Best damn newsletter in the crypto business. You can start getting that to your inbox for free. For free. 145,000 people recreating this bad boy, getting the latest on altcoins, meme coins, DeFi tutorials, technical analysis, and much, much more. You can be one of those people. Check it out. Link down below. It's free. You can find it also over in the pinned comment on X. Thank you so much, and I'll see you back in the next one. Peace.